there have been researchers, psychologists who looked at the individual components uh, that drive our individual creative abilities and creative problem solving skills. But there are also researchers that have actually looked at whole processes. Guilford Torrance, in the especially funded during the Cold War, when the brain power needed to be improved, improved upon in order to compete as a country, then researchers found that uh, by establishing so-called creative problem-solving processes, we can actually enhance our outcome. And uh, design thinking is literally one of those processes. Many of you are familiar with that. Companies are now getting more and more training in those areas in order to become better at producing more original, unusual work. The most recent aspect is actually um, the, the place component, um, that the place and creating so-called creatively driven, creatively influencing uh, places, the Google place, the Apple, and many companies are trying to, um, to recreate, you see it already here. It's about um, to generate ideas that otherwise would not happen uh, if people just spend too much time behind their desks. Um, it's these um, unplanned collisions um, amongst people to spark connections, to spark uh, collaboration. That, that's a key component as well. And lastly, the fourth P, the, our product, our domain knowledge.